Hello Skulls and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today what it is is the answer to one of the most popular questions on my channel. Should I use a hypercardioid or a gun mic indoors? Now we all know there's a danger indoors in a very lively acoustic that the gun mic will phase and make your audio rather nasty. And this is quite a lively room. This is a dining room. There's plenty of glass, big uh, glass doors behind the camera there and glass cabinets on either side. So it's a stern test for the gun mic. Now we have eliminated one of the variables because these are both AKGs, these are both blue lines, and so both share the same amplifier unit, the C300. Now um, this one has the CK98 gun mic capsule on it, and this one has the CK93 hypercardioid. Just as a matter of comparison, there's a 416 and you can see well, the uh, AKG gun mic's that little bit longer, and so that should make it a sterner trial. Okay, off we go. Now, interestingly, just looking at the setup on the Zoom F6, it looks to me as though the uh, 98 has, I don't know, maybe 5 dB extra suck over the hypercardioid, but uh, let's test that out uh, with some reading. And uh, if you know my channel, you know I love Garrison Keeler, and um, who's not to say that he's a prophet. Uh, this is from um, Happy To Be Here, uh, Shy writes. How about shy history? To many of us shies, myself included, the worst tragedy is the oppression of shy children in the schools. And while we don't presume to tell educators how to do their work, work that they have been specially trained to do, we do feel that schools must begin immediately to develop programmes of shy history, or at the very least, give it a little consideration. History books are blatantly prejudiced against shyness and shy personhood. They devote chapter after chapter to the accomplishments of famous persons and quote them at great length and say nothing at all or very little about countless others who had very little to say, who never sought fame and whose names are lost to history. Where in the history books do we find mention of the Lady in Black, Kilroy, the unknown soldier, the forgotten man, the little guy, not to mention America's many noted recluses. Where, for example, can we find a single paragraph on America's hundreds of scale models, these brave men of average height, whose job it was to pose beside immense objects such as pyramids and dynamos, so as to indicate scale in drawings and photographs. The only credit that scale models ever received was a line in the caption, for an idea of its size, note man, arrow at left. And yet, without them, such inventions as the dirigible, the steam shovel and the swing span bridge would have looked like mere toys. And natural wonders such as Old Faithful and the Grand Canyon and the Great Sequoia would have been dismissed as hoaxes. It was truly a thankless job. Fair play, Garrison Keeler. Well, I hope you enjoyed our comparison between the gun mic and the hypercardioid. I think a test that requires maybe closer listening uh, than I expected when I started out on the video. Anyway, do subscribe to the channel. It does help. Come back soon and bye for now.